Good evening, everyone. We'll be starting in a while. Yeah, soon. We'll be starting soon. Oh, James AKB is following. Haha. Nice. Thank you, man. Not sure if you can hear me. Oh, Glacier, thank you so much for the follow, man. Appreciate it. I guess let's start this thing, right? Let's see how it goes. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, well, everyone, two of them, right? So far, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, so we'll be building a, a sink today. So prototype I got from, from Kibio. And here it is. So basically a 60%, a 60 no, a 96% keyboard with rotary encoders. So sounds good. Let's see how it goes. Uh, we have a special thing. We have uh, James, which created, was so kind enough to convert the, the KBO uh, file to, to, to CAD or whatever, so that it could be 3D printed. And then uh, we had uh, Papi, so the man from MKUK, which actually printed it. So let's see it, right? So here it is. Apparently he printed it with this uh, black, really nice filament which is shiny and I like shiny so sounds good oh hey top clack hey Jay thank you so much for joining me uh, so yeah so basically uh, we'll be doing this um, with this 3d printing that should be okay for the middle layer yeah so that's good I also have the plates which came from from Kibio. So they look quite nice. So let's see how it goes, right? And I need to say to stop saying let's see how it goes because yeah. Right, so we are going to be building this with um, with some gathering yellows. Uh, this is what I had with me to do it, so so yeah uh, sorry guys so yeah we have a uh, gathering yells i've looped them with uh, 205 but just uh, bag loop the the stems and the springs so they probably will need some break in and then we'll, we'll go back to to doing hey matt how are you doing thank you so much for 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 joining too yeah so let's see how it goes again let's see how it goes fantastic right so time to start and the first thing i want to do is that i have um stabs the most like i say the most expensive thing in a keyboard and i have some gmks and i have some everglides i'm not sure what to use uh i had prepared the everglides and then i figured out that i had this uh gmk um screw-ins too uh, i think i'm going to use the 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 everglides though although i got those to to build this so not sure guys what what do you think i should i should use do you think i should use the gmk or the f glides what do you guys think oh thanks jay gmk yeah makes sense man makes sense but that's but you're a bad boy you'll make me have to to clip them so yeah cool that's okay so we'll be doing the good thing about about this board is that um, it actually supports ISO. So for all us MKUK guys here, we have to do it with with ISO, right? So so yeah. So I guess I'll just need three of them. So uh, no, actually I need four because we'll have uh, two space bars, right? So we'll have two. We'll have a shift. We have an enter, and then split right shift and of course iso on left shift so should be okay ah thank you guys for having me clip stabs let's go and do it right um fun times fun times thank you thank you jay yeah I, nice jet desk mat isn't it i really like it actually it's really really nice uh very minimal but very very good right it looks uh, really good. 
Can you guys tell me if the volumes are, are okay? I'm not sure because I've tested it before and you know, I'm, I'm using a dynamic, not the same thing as. Well, Geo, uh, we have to take a break sometimes, right? And besides, you know, we, we're still a long way to go. We, we have the mice in, 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 the, in, in the world, just making sure everything is good. So yeah. Right, so another thing that I wanted to show off actually, which is from Papi, this little loop station that he printed with, uh, with Voodoo. This is actually um, Voodoo Wizard Filament. Actually, it's a very hard thing to show on camera, even pictures or or even in um, in uh, in photographs. But uh, it's a same thing. It has a sparkly thing to it. But I'm not sure you guys cannot probably see it that well. But yeah, again, quality is what we have. So that's what we have, right, guys? So let me get my trusty steel series mouse mat to to work on which yeah it's a steel series one right we don't like those type of things we like keyboard desk mats that's what we like right so let me start by uh by clipping this thing so i guess i could start and say to everyone but i guess everyone that hey russell how are you Thank you so much. I, yeah, my first time streaming, so let's see. Let's see how it goes, right? Uh, I would explain to everyone here how to clip, but I guess uh, most of the people do know. But again, let me see if I can show it. So you do have this, the little, the little two things that you that you clip off, right? It was actually a discussion that I had uh, once, which was. Um, uh, Oh, thank you. Thank you for the following map. Really, really appreciate that. So it's actually a discussion that I was having, which is why has GMK or everyone? Made it? Oh, thank you, Gio, man. Um, why have they done it? But, you know, one of the actual... Um... Cheers, man. I'm not sure if the notifications are too too low, but hey. Um, but one of the discussions that, that was, you know, one of the points that was made, which is actually curious and makes sense, is that it has been done before in order to think about um, longevity, right? Uh, you know, we, we, yeah, I need to, I need to, to, to lower the notifications, but yeah, sorry guys, resistance is useless anyway, so yeah. Um, so the discussion was that, was that, you know, this has been made in, uh, I think, in a more of um, in more of um, OEM idea of lasting than for us uh, keyboard enthusiasts that actually like the that actually like the um, you know the the little details on it, right? So it's made over. It made it. It was made for uh, how we would say it. Made for performance. And not for uh, for or not not best performance, but for lasting for whatever you can say in English, right? So right, so let's let's keep on doing this because I don't want to spend my life spe you know looping and clipping stabs. It's the worst thing you can you can do. But hey, everyone has been it. I'm pretty sure that everyone has done it before. So everyone knows the pain that it is, right? So. Longevity over performance. Thank you, Matt. Exactly that. That's exactly what I was I was going for. Now, just out of note, uh, it was James that said to to have uh, GMK stabs if they suck. We can all blame James. But hey, we can always blame James for everything, right? That's basically how it goes. Hey Tyson, how are you? Thank you for joining, man. Thank you for joining. Ouch. Thank you for the follow, man. I really need to need to lower those notifications, but hey, you live and learn, right? Always James' fault. We know that it's always James' fault. By the way, uh, I've been giving him hell about the the layers because he converted them. So if that actually 
it doesn't work out, I already told them that it would be his own, uh, you know, it would be his fault, which obviously it isn't. Right. He actually picked up the, the project from, um, from, um, from Kibio itself. So he had, um, so he had, uh, created, but, um, acrylic version of it. Right. And then I realized why, because apparently the PCB has uh, RGB, which we're not going to be using, but apparently the PCB has RGB on it. And so, um, it's probably why he created a, um, an acrylic case and not a 3D printed one, which is not what he did for the um, Q frequency, which I also have, which um, is uh, you know the same concept as this one, which is a middle layer. Right, let's go and start looping this thing. So, yeah, I'll be using tool five, grade zero for for the loops because that's yeah i've been using i i've used um dielectric i i think dielectric is a good option but i don't know why uh you know i've i've uh, i've thought that probably much better to do to do um to actually do um 205 than 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 dielectric i find dielectric that it becomes too runny and so it doesn't help in the middle of the um, of the um, you know on this little hole that that we have on the on the stabilizer i think that actually doesn't help that much but again uh, probably the the dielectric i'm using which is not as thick as others so hey might as well give use to the 205 we have right Yeah, curious matter. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, it's quite good. Honestly, it's quite good to to loop the the stems and everything. But you know, to go inside the the actual uh, little hole, it's actually something that I I found that I don't know why, but um, you know, two hundred five actually, you know, it's, it feels better than 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 the other one. But again, it could be just me, right? Uh, yeah, this one. So this is on the back. And there's only one 1,000 to go. How you guys been uh, this this Tuesday, right? We're in Tuesday. How odd it is that we don't even know what what day we are because of this COVID thing, right? It's the the crazy world we we live in at the moment, guys. As you can see, also COVID beard and COVID hair. That's that's what it is. It should actually should actually become. Um, like a, a trend for fashion in the future. COVID hair and COVID brown, you know, beer. That's probably what they're going to do. Uh, thanks, Gia. Cheers, man. Appreciate that. Been trying to grow it more, actually. You know, I did a, I actually did a bad thing, which was to cut it about a month into to quarantine. I actually cut it, which I, I shouldn't have. But hey, that's... Um, you live and learn, right? And then you realize that, hey, I want to grow a beard. And then you realize that... <laughs> that's beard oil, actually. Like that. Yeah, hey, bad cams, man. Bad cams, but that's what we're, we're making do. We're making do what we have. That's, that's basically what it is. Uh, also, by the way, guys, funny thing. I was looking into, into webcams. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but, you know, I got the... Uh, C920 on, um, so I'm, I'm using the C920 as as the, the top cam, and then this one is just a Microsoft uh, 720p HD, you know, old old webcam, but that I already had. Uh, but I was looking at getting another C920, and and the funny thing that that you can that you that if you look at it now, is I got my C920 on Amazon um, 
you know, on the black thing, you know, the, the what, promotions that they do. And I got it for 20 quid. At the moment, a C920. Yeah, Black Friday, so good. And, um, and C920 now, it's at 150 pounds, which is ridiculous. Also, a Brio, which was 150 quid before, and I thought it was expensive, is now being sold for 350 pounds. A Brio, the same price as a uh, uh, DSLR, right? That's, that's how, that's what working from home makes, right? That and desks and printers and all of that, those things and monitors and yeah. Also funny story, I was, you know, for my work, I was looking into buying um, four servers and apparently all the servers have gone into data centers. So even servers are hard to get now. So yeah. Oh yeah, and office chairs, obviously. Yeah, and and desks. The desk I have, which not big because we have no space, but you know, the desk I have, uh, very cheap. But then was looking at getting another one to make like sort of an L, and you know, it's it's crazy, crazy prices now. So let's see how this goes and how these tabs are done. So. They should be okay to to you. Stabs are quite quite easy to to work out, right? Seven seven used tabs are the worst. Also, guys, discipline. Very very good keyboard for what it is. Very good. I was so surprised with with the actual board. You know, it's a cheap board, but so good. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure, man. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. 25 quid to 70. Yeah, for sure. For sure. My sister. So my sister is in Portugal. She's a teacher and she had to be, you know, the, the thing in Portugal, curious, curiously enough, is that teachers need to actually do uh, web uh, teaching, web, um, web classes. And she was looking at getting a, a camera and asking me for help. And, you know, I told her, look, that's it. She ended up buying a very, very, very cheap uh, camera, but that would cost her like 50 quid because there's none. And I said, hey, if you want one, that's what you have. Otherwise, there's none. Almost done with the tabs, guys. We we'll still need to loop the, the wires, but almost done. Any odd low cost board you recommend? So, so I am a, I am a very big advocate of um, of cheap stuff, right? I, I know most of the people don't have the money to to get into the hobby, you know, deep, which or not as a pleb, like a lot of people say. But but I I would say that um, you know. If, if it's your first Mac, uh, it all depends on what you're looking for. If you want to, you know, if you're looking on buying one Mac and that's it, I don't know if it's a better option to go with a pre-built, uh, unless you want to have the experience of, of building it yourself, which is, you know, again, depends on what people are in for the, for the hobby for. I'm, I'm, in, I'm all in for building and, and, and all that. But, you know, if, if you're looking for, for something, you know, a one-time buy, Probably, you know, Philco's, uh, Leopold's, these are very, very good, um, very good uh, brands for, for um, you know, uh, commercial Macs. If you are looking into getting into the, into the keyboard world and you are really not that experienced on it, I would advise something as, um, you know, cheap hot swap, GK61, 64, 65, whatever the new ones are. Um, which you know, it's not a not a great board, but allows you to at least test and 
and find out what you want and then eventually go into something more you know don't do what i did don't do what i did which is to buy stuff and then realize that you don't like it and and buy uh, more stuff which is good at the same time but you know not nothing wrong with having several keyboards but hey that's i would say that yeah gk61 as a starter kit 35 quid you can get it on aliexpress uh for a for a kit like that which or you can buy something like this which is like 50 quid or 60 quid but you have to understand that you have to solder it all so if you if you're familiar with soldering and you're okay with it this type of board is so good for the price so so good very hard to find i don't know they're they're releasing a revision too now but it's very very hard to find at the moment at least not uh, as in hard to find in not crazy prices on flipper prices right that we we all know i'm actually getting a i'm getting um id80 from from drop you know the uh, idalbao id80 from drop uh received the shipping confirmation not sure if it's going to be a good board but hey not that bad for 100 quid hot swap 75 percent probably not the bad thing we'll see when it gets here all right And Matt, I'm not doing the hockey tape mod because I don't have hockey tape for it, actually. I have band-aids, but probably not going to use it. That's actually a good idea, hockey tape mods. Oh yeah, I'm sure, man. I'm sure. Oh, also, guys, I didn't, I didn't say before, but uh, just a safe, you know, an advice that um, that I would like to say is that knobs will be shown in the video, okay, on, on the stream. Just to let you guys know. So if you're not, if you're uncomfortable with knobs, it's probably that better that you're not around when when I show them, right? More than one on top of that. More than one. Hmm. Oh, oh yeah, Gio. Uh, getting in, in stock too is, is the same thing I was saying about servers, right? It's not that um, the prices have increased, but you know, having stock is 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 the issue at the moment, right? Uh. Yeah, sort of uh, depends on depends on your experience, Matt. But um, I would say, you know, considerable size knobs. You know, again, we never know uh, the experience that each one has with its own knobs. Uh, you know, again, I'm I'm quite new to knobs, right? So, you know, it's my first time with knobs. So let's see how it goes. It's curious, uh, Gio, we, ha we actually had an exercise in my business going back to vendors asking for, uh, you know, maintenance contract changes and stuff like that because of COVID. And, and curiously enough, everyone actually complied, you know, complied, not, not complied, not a good way, word, but, you know, everyone helped everyone on the business because everyone knew that everyone is struggling. And I, and I work for, in hospitality and hospitality is struggling a lot. So my business is going to open in September only so until then you know it's closed down mm. yeah mm. ok 
Okay, one more to go and we're done with stabs, which is good. Oh, we we've uh, we've talked to our vendors and said, hey, 90 day payment minimum. It is what it is. We're trying to pay our staff first, right? Right. So almost almost done with this time. So I'll be. And now I get you, Matt, when you say about lube and about getting lube in your hands. I totally understand you now. Right, so let me just try and clean this up and then we go from there, right? I'll be right back, I need to get something. Oh, this is a, this is a good, 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 good tune. My favorite tune of this album, guys. Well, it depends. Lube on the knob. That's probably, I don't know. How would the knob react to lube? I have to figure that out. Right. So let's start with the, oh yes, oh yes. We need nectar, always. So, uh, am I doing this correctly? Let's see. Then the marvelous, the marvelous ISO Master Race, guys. All you ANSI guys can look away now. Get, uh, I think I need to get a key to, to see how, where it fits. Hey Don, thank you for joining, man. Thank you for 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 visiting. So guys, big big tip if you don't know, Tesco freezer bags are amazing for keycap storage. Uh, if you had not. If you haven't seen that before, I advise you. Right, let's see if I can figure out where this goes first. So, right, we found it. By the way, guys, uh, Don from the board is here. Thank you, Don. This is actually the price I got from uh, from his podcast. So, yeah. Oh, Kibio told you that. Cheers, man. Resistance is useless. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the follow. So, looking forward to to seeing how this goes and how the board feels after that. But um, you know, having a 
having a a Q frequency too from Kibio. I actually like the the board the board there. Okay, so I just realized that this two steps probably will not. They will probably not um, screw in, but we'll find out, right? Right. Oh yeah, yeah, grab bags. This like this. This bags are amazing when you find them. Nothing else you want, right? They're actually cheap too. So. So let's see how this goes in terms of. No, it's okay. Yeah, see. That fell. Hey, Danny, I didn't see you here. Thank you so much for, for being here, man. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. I was actually waiting. I was actually waiting for your um, for your case file to, to become available. And like I said at the beginning of the stream, I'm not sure if you were if you actually were here, but uh, um, I've got uh, Mr. James AKB, which is on the chat to actually convert the file that you did with um, with um, you know with the acrylic um, layers and convert it to to a 3D printed format so that we can we can do a middle layer. And like I said, I know it has uh, RGB, but uh, we don't like the RGBs here. So yeah. Now let's see if this actually. Screws in, should screw in. Still has surface to, to screw in, so let's see if it goes. Should be okay, let's see. If not, washers, which is something that. Oh, Obo! Obo also here. Thank you so much for being here. Actually does actually sticks so it's cool so we're cool. Obo, we all like staggered guy, not like you, you splurgo dudes. First time I heard someone so so basically, uh, funny funny story so. Obo actually complained of having too many keys on his split keyboard. So we're doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> Indeed.
There we go, starting a fight in this channel. We have the connected split ergos against the non-connected split ergos fighting out. We the simple staggered guys, we just stay and, and look at stuff, right? We just stay and look at you guys, just fighting it out. That's okay. Right, so we have the stabs ready. And if I am not mistaken, and uh, Danny, you, you probably can, can tell me that on the stream, but if I'm not mistaken, um, the knobs need to go first, correct? From what I understand, the knobs need to go first. So like I told you, not one, but two knobs that we're going to be using. Because he can have two knobs, why not? Let's knob all the things, right? So, so yeah, so I got these guys from, uh, from actually from Amazon. Uh, very cheap, four of them for like uh, six quid. So, six or eight quid, something like that. So I'm assuming that this guy will go in first, and then uh, and then this guy would go in, right? Or do we have space to? Because we don't have space to take it out after, right? From what I saw before, yeah. We need to solder it first. Yeah, no, Dan, Don, Don. From what I saw, the um, maybe these ones, but they're too too wide for for the actual um, for the actual hole. So what I found was that you know trying to put them in, they actually block on the actual. Uh, cut out so you know I'll have to solder them first and then I'll put in the switches and the plate so yeah so yeah so here we go and this is gonna be fun right time to turn on the Oh, cool, 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 Dan. Understood. I would probably need to 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 hide the logo of the tasty beverage I'm having. But hey, guys, I think we're all adults here, right? So I guess. Oh, I see. Yeah. And Matt, by the way, uh, and got stocks to to actually print one for me too, and actually looks looks really good. So yeah, I'm really happy. Just got it like uh, yesterday. So funny thing, I I, I asked uh, stocks to to print it. Everything was okay, and I forgot to tell him my address. So I'm assuming that yeah. Okay. It is, it is, Matt, it is. Very smart uh, thing for, for it. Let me just see how this thing is. If it's already... No, let's leave it to heat up a bit more, yeah. And I probably should put my soldering thing here. Right. So I'll probably just, oh, that was good. So I'll probably just uh, solder one pin for now, and then we'll see. Oh, Mr. Glasses, thank you for, for joining. Yeah. Here we go. So, seems like we're, we're in business now. Right, so...
Cool. So now we're just going to put another one here. I'm sorry guys, but now old Vogon needing needing to see. So This one's going to be fun. Hmm. There we go. We'll see how it, how it ends up being. a hard one to do, right? Actually, I might need to put, put some... Oh. Might need to put some floods on it. Let's see. Again, my first time soul rank rotary so yeah not wanting to it's actually not wanting to, to grab so let me just take this out and then probably add some flux to it give me a second guys I need to get uh, some flux pen yeah if I can actually find Doing flux pen today. So, it actually heated up quite fast. Yeah, seems so. Well, let's see how it goes. I think. I think he has contact, so, so we'll see. So, this one is done. Let's go to the second one. What time is it in Australia for you guys now? Jesus, and you're watching his stream down at 8.24 a.m. I wouldn't. I wouldn't watch myself at 8.24 a.m., to be honest.
Oh yeah, I forget that you that you actually get up really early. I normally get up to go to work at 5 a.m. But to be honest, with this COVID thing, I've started getting up much later. So I'm actually oh, that one went much better. And I'm actually worried when I, when I need to get back to to work when how it's gonna go. Anyway, let's let's enjoy at least part of of the COVID things, right? Let's at least enjoy that part. Right, so that's done. Let's start with the right side. And let's go with... As Mr. Glar says, which is in chat, says the budget king, which is true. I got yellows. Or the best thing ever. So, here we go. Resistance is useless! Hey, Full Stack Live, thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate that really much. By the way, Danny, I've tested the PCB before and uh, I saw that the FRO is actually not FRO. Probably it didn't answer, so it's probably just not programmed. So, you know, VIA, again, will we'll solve all that. But out of curiosity, just to. Here we go. Good, so now it's just cracking on with putting in switches. And then we can actually solder them all and move on to the second one. And I'm glad Matt is not here to see me bend pins. But. By the way, Satisfaction 75, eat your heart out. There's two knobs on this one. So if one knob is worth 2K in in the you know in the black market, not black market, but on MKUK. On the not my MKUK. Here we go. <sighs> on Mac market, then a board with two knobs is probably worth double that. go so we're doing good So it does have, like I was saying, it has RGB below. So if you guys haven't seen it, but it does have RGB uh, LEDs and it actually has a inlet RGB, which I'm not using, but the milky housings will probably let a little bit of it come out. Although you know, I'm not planning on using a lot of it, but let's see how it how it looks at the end. 
Definitely the um, the middle layer won't because it's black, but we'll see. We'll see how, how it looks after that. Surely, but slowly, we're getting there. bottom row will be well, probably not that hard we'll see yep bent pin yep Also, if I can say something, Danny, uh, not because it's a uh, shield or whatever, but uh, it's my second board that I have, well, the third board I have from Danny, and the actual cuts for the, for the switches, for the two legs of the, the plastic legs of the switches are so tight on these boards, which make it really, really nice to use even without a plate, so... On the Q frequency, I used it without a plate. It was really, really good. So, okay. So now we're going to do arrows here. So we're going to do sixty-five percent on the right side, right? So we. So these ones are easy to do. Now comes the hard part. So this this guy goes here. This should be the the place. You guys think so? Go. Yeah, I actually noticed that on uh, another board that I was using. Um, actually, I was using Gatron Yellow Inks, and they they weren't as fat as these guys. But I don't think this is here. I actually think this is. You know what? I need to go back to the to the keys and see a 1.5 shift. If I can find it in the, this mess. If not, I'll leave this one out. Actually, no, wrong. Does anyone feel like playing 
with Legos at the same time. There we go. Doesn't it feel like playing with Legos sometimes when you're using caps? Mm. Yep. This is the place. Very good. And now, uh, yeah, I can use this one. Now we'll need to figure out the bottom row. So this guy would go here. Now, see? That's a good, good snap. So if that guy would go here, then we're going to go another one here for the arrow cluster. Yeah. And now we have two of these. So let's see how it goes. going to do the second one. Uh, I would say <laughs> what would hurt more walking on Lego or GMK set. So I can say that walking on Lego is not fun at all. I actually had that experience, so I wouldn't advise it. GMK, yeah, I would say that probably the 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 heart pain would be more than especially if you hear a crack, right? This goes here, right? Though. Let's go here. Yeah, here we go. Well, not really. Not really. I like Underbite. Not because of the meme. Actually, it's funny. Um, you know, before really knowing the, the story about Underbite, uh, I wasn't aware that it was actually like a you know, exhibition um set that GMK had done so I actually appreciate it for that I appreciate it for the for that uh, historical reason um, yeah of course it's a meme of course you wouldn't like to use it on a board but I actually like it because of that I, I appreciate what, what it tried to do even though it was a meme and even though people you know say oh it took out it took time of uh, GMK's uh, manufacturing but again you know I respect what they wanted to do so yeah Right, so I guess we're going to solder this one and then we're going to go and put switches on the second one and solder it too, so. I'm just going to go and see if... Is there any band pin? Just by touching the pins with the fingers, we'll see if there's anything missing. We should be good to go. And yeah, we're good. So let's go and let me just solder this fast and then we're going to go to the second one. Yeah, correct. If there was people to meet MOQ, then... I like to talk about Underbite with, with people when, when they talk about stuff and say, oh, put Underbite on just because of the meme part of it. But but in all fairness, you know, I think it's actually... Uh, it's a decent set. In, in, the, in the intent that it was made. Now, if it was actually made with that intent or just a meme, then... That's a different story, but you know, I think it's. Now, I can't wait for my sets to arrive, and obviously they won't because of COVID. So 
We're having a talk in the server today, in the MKUK server, about cats and... I just realized that my cat sets won't be here until next year, so yeah, good, good times. In all fairness, the only thing I'm waiting for is cam. That I'm really, really eagerly awaiting is cam break. That's set I'm actually really hyped for. So if you guys want to ask any questions while I'm doing this, which is the usual thing on a keyboard stream when people are soldering because there's not much more to do than solder. If you want to ask questions, go ahead. If you want to discuss something, let me know. And we can. Hey, Subfox, how are you? Subfusk. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? I, I would say the amount of wood the woodchuck would be able to chuck before uh, chucking all the wood. I think that probably is what he would be able to do, right? I think that's what a woodchuck does, right? He chucks wood and... Yui, thank you for being here, man. How are you? say we're I don't know 40% through the build maybe maybe 35% through the build because yeah we just started soldering the first part there's still a second part to put switches in and solder and then the assembly and then the keycaps which are not that special and then the typical uh, typing test right that everyone wants to hear but hey I'm not doing F10 fast finger stuff because that's not what I do so yeah
We were actually discussing that the other day on a, on another Discord, which is, you know, the 10 fast fingers stuff, right? I don't know why, but I tend to to not type that well on ta- 10 fast fingers as I am when writing an email and stuff like that. So I don't know if it's because, again, not, not my native language and my brain is, though, although I'm talking in English, it's... And even though I don't really realize it, it's constantly translating or something like that, which I don't think it is, because one of the things I think that when you, when you, when you speak, uh, you know, when you start being fluent on another language, is that you actually start thinking on that language. But, but it's still, at least in in in, uh, I don't know, maybe in reading, the brain still acts like that. Uh, so. I was never good on my do like what 36 words per minute on a on a typing test which yeah but hey it doesn't matter how doesn't matter how you type doesn't matter how many words per minute you do doesn't matter whatever you do if you do like a mechanical keyboard hey you can cheers cheer cheer sub fusk thank you for for the follow man doesn't matter what you do, like I was saying, even if you're pack, hey, you like keyboards, that's that's what is important and no one can tell you what you like, right? That's... But obviously for the gatekeeping, we always have to say that if you don't type properly, you don't touch that properly, then you're just a pleb and you don't belong here. That's what they say, right? Which I think is like 95% of us, but that's okay. Slowly but surely getting there, guys. I see what you mean, Matt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Trying to to read the next word while you type, but still, I don't know, my and it doesn't really work out for me. Maybe when I change my name to Vogon Pite, then probably then I can do fast typing tests. But until then, I guess that's not gonna happen. Almost there, guys. Almost there. After this, just another half to go. you mean Don yeah exactly it's it's the thing with those typing tests because it's not um, I've, I've done one I can't remember the website which was much easier because again it was a text that you could read and it actually had um, 
sequence, right? And I think that that's also something that this test uh, really does is that because there are, you know, random words that you actually just don't really, my brain doesn't really work with it, it doesn't like it, so that's what it is. One. I think after this we should be good because then this is just the bottom row and we're done with this side. Just making sure that I didn't miss any other, and I don't think so. So we're good to go. Yeah. Then just finishing this one off, and we're good. I guess this is the most listened to music on streams at the moment, right, guys? I think everyone knows this type of music today. DRM free, that's what we like. to go, three more to go, and we're done. one of this side. And we're done. So yeah guys, first one done. Good. Now time for the second one so let's put this one to the side and I'll just put this one here and now we're gonna go and rinse and repeat on the other side right so one of the New Zealand folks I've been using monkey type really successfully putting in the time and gone from like 35 word per minute to 80 word per minute in like two weeks. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things. I actually never had that much of curiosity to, 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 to work with it, but you know, yeah. One of those things that if you, if you practice, I'm pretty sure that, um, that you do. Right. I, I touch type, but I've touched, I touch type because of 20 years of, of writing on keyboards, not really, you know, the, the technical touch type, right? Uh, but uh, but I do touch type, but yeah. I guess some people would say, oh, you know, oh, you type B with your right hand. Oh. But it's actually something funny that I find about Alice, which is there's a lot of people typing B on, on uh, with, it, with his uh, right hand, not left hand, right hand, because Otherwise, people wouldn't wouldn't have made Alice with two Bs, right? So I guess it's something that could be common to a lot of people. Right. So let me just try and anchor this P 
PCB in a way that actually fits okay. Here we go. cluster first because it's separated you can actually break it so just want to make sure nothing happens to it and that way we, we sort of anchor the PCB on this side and we're okay but that type is non-standard also just from years of experience I don't use my pinky fingers for anything except mods and right hand punctuation left hand Pinky is so underused, correct. But if you develop your own technique that's a functional at the speed that you're happy with, it doesn't matter how you do it as long as it's effective for you and it doesn't cause you injury. Yeah, correct, correct. Correct. That's it's very funny because I actually use shift left shift most of the time, but I actually look look use you know the right shift to do ISO enter. Uh, ISO enter, sorry, um at and it's almost the only thing I use uh, right shift for, but that's how you, you got used to it, right? So that's how, how it works. And again, I'm not using a Portuguese keyboard because, uh, and it's funny, I've been using a, a UK, um, you know, a UK ISO keyboard for so long that the other day when I was in Portugal, uh, I was trying to help out a, a colleague and I couldn't type on a Portuguese keyboard anymore because of you know of where a lot of characters are. So it's funny how you how you get used to it and, and it's understandable how a lot of people on this hobby change to anti because of key sets and stuff and then you just get used to it, which is true. You know, your 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 mind just gets used to it in uh, you know in like uh, I would say a week your mind would be used to it. So yeah. Although, obviously, ISO Master Race. Oh yeah, Azerty keyboards. Yes, yes. So, um, so I lived in Morocco for five and a half years, and uh, in Morocco they use um, the French uh, keyboard layout, right? And what actually bothered me about the French layout keyboard is not the Azerty part of it, because your brain can actually very fast get used to the A being there, etc. right? Wasn't that, was that numbers are made with a shift and then the key. And that is what I found the most bizarre thing and I could never get used to it. So, you know, when I, when I, was, when I got there, luckily enough, uh, there was, um, you know, uh, a UK um, QWERTY keyboard there that they had bought for a, for one of the computers, but um, you know it came with the wrong keyboard, and I took it because of that. And it was the best thing I could ever done, right? Because, yeah. Who types numbers with a shift? Come on, guy. Come on, French guys. Right, so we're not doing step caps lock on this one, or are we? Step caps lock or, or regular caps lock, guys? You choose. You let me know. Waiting for you guys to let me know. Stepped, yeah. I knew that. I knew those two would say stepped for sure. So let's do stepped. Step caps lock gang gang is here. A 
apparently. Here we go. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there with the switches. We're going to have another bottom row to to look at and see how we how we work this out. But hey, we're almost there. Some are not, yeah, I think we need to, there we go. The plate at the same time is also not helping, but there we go, I think. Yep, now we, yeah, two of them were sort of not all the way in. can't use a, a 104 key keyboard I need your you need your capital letters come on man you you use broken keyboards right you use half keyboards or so something like that so come on guys Don cannot handle uh, apparently from what I heard on his podcast is that he cannot handle layers so yeah and now this guy goes here that's not right is it Oh, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. This one is easy because it's a space bar. But now we're going to go back to the Oh, don't tell me that I can't. Oh, I stored the keycap. Something fell. Oh, I'll we'll pick it up in a, in a sec. So this would be 1.5 U's. So not 1.5, 1.25 U. So that should be something like this. This should be layout. So, sorry, guys, I need to. Oh, there we go. It's this one. Yeah. No, it's not this one. This one and now I just need to find a there we go. Uh -huh. So this guy is wrong. It's actually here. 
Yep. So which means that probably these two are wrong too, right? Let me get another one. Oh, thanks. Thanks for, 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 thanks for being here, man. Have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your night and have a good one. Yeah, so this, this, I guess all of these guys are wrong, right? So this guy should be here. Which actually means that this guy will probably be wrong too, right? Let's see. Yep, so that's, this guy needs to move too. As does the other one. Or at least that's what it seems like. It's actually here. The shift, right? Yeah. So just trying to find, just give me a second guys, I'm just trying to find another 1.25 thing. Uh, just to make sure that we do it with the correct bottom row and there we go which means that this guy is also here there we go yeah good 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 right so let's Let me just solder these guys in and we will continue. Ah, it's okay, man. It's okay, Danny. It's just again, it all depends on how you want to do it, right? On the layout you want to do. You could even want to have a bigger. Or the space bar here and and the function key here, right? So, yeah. Okay, so let's go and let's solder this rest. So what do you guys say about the big scandal apparently that was a keyboard being sold in 10 minutes in our hobby? Which apparently was the big scandal of Reddit today, right? I don't get people, man. Everyone freaking out. Oh, the board sold uh, in five minutes. What else is new, guys? Yeah, see, one minute for plastic, two, two, two minutes for aloe. There you go, see? No, scandal, because I, what I saw is a lot of people in, in, in Reddit posting salty, a bit salty about not being able to buy it. And I was thinking, hey, guys, it's how it is. I think, I think, uh, yeah, that's the thing, right? Uh, that's the thing, is that people think that just because, you know, people, just because they're vendors that they have millions to just put in, right? And and yeah, you should have bought one and a half million units because everyone wanted to buy it, right? And he, he should have put all his life savings and his life on the line for this board, right? That's what people think.
Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally that they are old products. Totally, yeah. Obviously. Oh, we have a pen pin here. There we go. No, it was good. It's good that it's it's like that, right? And and it's a good thing. But I'm not, I'm not thinking that that uh, even Mike was thinking that it would be it would be you know this uh, this level of of, uh, of engagement for everyone, you know. Well, yeah. If he knew now, <laughs> now knowing what he knows, he probably thought that why didn't I order five thousand of them? But hey, you know. But yeah, but people just people just think that they should have, they should be entitled to it, right? My thing is that you, know, you get into this hobby and you realize that yeah, like we were talking, right? You you realize that you're buying stuff that was that is supposed to to arrive in in August and is going to arrive next year. So that's how that's how this hobby is, right? And yeah, you have a lot of people which are new to the hobby, which don't know that. So, you know, when I started, I didn't know. To be honest, when I started, I didn't really know that this was the case at the beginning. Well, I did know because of what I saw, but I thought, you know what? I'm not going to get into those things because at the time, I, I thought, hey, because A, I'm not a lunatic that spends 150 quid on plastic. Look at me now. And... Secondly, you know, I want things now, so I'm just going to go with the Thai house and all that stuff from the world. And again, nothing wrong with Thai house. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that uh, that uh, the next next shipment. And again, and it, if this is a project, you know, the, the NK65 is the one with a, with a, what do you call it, with a, <sighs> sorry, guys. With the with the plastic case that is um, injection molded, right? So obviously that Mike, when he did it, wanted to 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 do something that would be reproducible much faster. So, right? Hey, if something gave you know. Learn me patience was the keyboard hobby. To be honest, I honestly thought, you know, when I when I was hearing some people at the beginning when I started in the hobby and watching streams and watching people talk, and when I would hear people going like, "Oh, I forgot about this key set that I was that I was getting," you know, and you think, "How could you forget about something that you spent, you know, one hundred and fifty dollars on?" But because of the time frames, now I understand. Yeah. You know, if 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 some sets that I bought are arriving next year, yeah, probably next year, I'm gonna go like, oh yeah, right, I had bought this, I didn't remember anymore. And actually, curious how how the cat production um, schedule goes because it seems like they're very behind again. Covid did make that much more a reality, but I'm not sure if uh, if they really have the you know the capacity at the moment to to be able to 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 push the amount of sets that that they have been you know that uh, all of the group buys that happened. Right? If you look at GMK, right, GMK. GMK has a second, ma you know, machine, right? They they bought a, an additional machine because of of the of the community, from what uh, from what I understand, right? I'm not sure that cat at least now they can do that, and if they, yeah, true, Matt, and I think that that's one of the things where people went to cat a lot, and at the beginning, again, because it's a new profile, because of the nature of the group by itself, which is you know the sets the kidding is much much easier so people tend to be you know um you can get what you want for cheaper but i think a lot of people 
you know, went to, to CAT because of that too, because thinking, oh, GMK, you know, I get into a GMK set and it takes six months to get. But yeah, but the problem is that it's only being worse now for CAT because, right? Let's see. Another one that really died, and I'm actually curious of when are we going to see more of his H H HSA, right? We had those two runs from um, the brown on white on brown, right? And and the purple one, and that's it. And even those one, the the no nothing about it. the 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 brown one from from match HSA it hasn't hasn't shipped right. It hasn't been just yet, has it? And if it has, it has been. If it has, there has been no pictures on. On the reds. <laughs> OEM waiting, rubbing his stems with anticipation. Indeed. Nothing wrong with the OEM profile, to be honest. I've said this numerous times, which could be a big heresy, a big um, heresy saying this on the mechanical keyboard enthusiast world. But Taiho is actually a very good, very very good product for the price. And although people say, "Oh, Taiho, I have had shipped." Um, you know, like uh, key sets which have cuts or broken or stuff. I never had issues. I have like three of them. I never had an issue with the tie house set. And they're, you know, double shot ABS and you know, the legends are quite okay. The only thing that Taihao doesn't have, which I think that if they started, you know, putting more investment into it, they would definitely probably earn a lot of market from, you know, newcomers and let's say people with less, um, I wouldn't say people with less, um, oh, here we go, another hit or, uh, I think this guy is, has a pen pin. I wouldn't say people with less possessions, but let's say young people whose parents buy them keyboards, right? Because if I was a parent and I had my my son, oh sorry guys, that one is gone. If I was a parent and I had my son asking me for, you know, a bunch of plastic squares costing $150, I would probably ask them, are you mental? So. If Taihao would go with, you know, uh, if if Taihao would go with um, the less uh, commonly used um, keys like the 1.5 shifts and stuff like that, and you know the the this one which I can't, uh, it's not 1.5, so it's probably 1.75. If if Taihao would have some stuff like that and they would come up with sets like that, they would probably get more, more, much more market. Than they do because again it's not uh it's not a you know a bad quality for the price so we're talking 30 quid for a decent set which covers a hundred percent so it's not bad almost there guys almost there We 
Which will come first, I sub MBK or an OG3 OTC episode? Aha! Uh -huh. That's probably a good question. Poor Danny, he carried on the show the other day by himself because these guys don't want to don't want to do podcasts. That's why. Oh, by the way, just out of curiosity, Don, I actually bought an SH-72, the soldering iron too, to, to see how it, is, how, how it was. I actually bought two. I bought one with the wrong tip, for me at least. I bought a, one with the BC-2 tip, and then I ended up buying another one. I wanted to buy another tip, a, bit tip, a B2 tip, but then I realized that the price of a B2 tip was almost the same price. Oh, God. Kajahata, th Kajahata, thank you for your for the follow, man. Appreciate that. Um, and then the buying another one. So, actually, a good soldering iron for the price, man. Again, budget is very important for some people. And although you can have all these gatekeeping people saying, "Oh, you need echo or you need," it's a very good iron for the price. And you know, and one of the things that everyone says, oh, you should have one because of uh, the temperature monitoring. Hey, it doesn't have an LCD, but it does have temperature control. So, yeah, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Correct. Correct. And if you, you know, the way I look into it, if you are, um, you know, if you're starting out, you don't really know. If you're going to to like it or not, right? So my first so my first experience with mechanical keyboard soldering was I got a, one of these uh, kits from Amazon with a soldering iron, solder, a box. It even came with a box. But yeah, I wouldn't advise it now. But hey, did a job for my first board, which I still have on a on its shelf yeah control doesn't work on that one but hey those were the first times and and the soldering the solder was shit pardon my french so and nowadays when people ask me advice for you know what should they get i normally say the important thing to get is a good solder then the soldering iron you can have but a good solder is makes all the difference man all the difference. It was the best investment I did. I used that 60 watt fire stick, which had a tip that was half matted from doing 240. Exactly, exactly, and it works, it works. And then you hear these people going, like, oh, no, Hako. Yeah, of course, if you want to buy something good and if you want, you know, to invest, then definitely get something better, right? But, you know, if you're starting out, just, again, uh, what? Nowadays, I, I look into it, nowadays in... Um, in AliExpress, it's like uh, twelve quid for for uh, for one of those of the SH seventy two. Perfect for what it was. Man. Here we go, guys. I think that's all done. Let's see. Let me just yeah, this one. Yeah, there we go. Let me just look at them see that I didn't miss anything and I think we're good to go yep I guess we're done right on this right so now let me just 
roll this up. And now comes the fun part, right? So now we are going to assemble this. With what Mr. James has helped us convert from Danny's uh, acrylic layer one. And we'll see how this fits. Again, if that doesn't work, we can all, all blame. Again, guys, I don't know if you can see, but really, really nice this, this, uh, this filament, which is black, but it has this little silver specks on it. So it, it actually looks really nice. So I believe this would be it. Hey, Mr. James, look at that, it fits. Hey. And there you go, actually works. <laughs> no, man, I'm, I was sure it's gonna work. Now, the important part, which is the other thing, and for you guys to see is that James also helped and made not this side but this side he actually made a top part for it too <laughs> now the problem is that I'm not sure if I have because I just realized yet when I got them so I had to buy some new um, standoffs for it for the top one and I actually bought longer screws so that we could screw it from the top so let's see if that actually works which I think it will because yeah it will I was thinking on this a different way so let's go and let's go ahead and build the first part at least see how it goes right This one. So this would go like this, but we need to put this one here. So let's try and let's try and see if I can. Oh, you ha you guys haven't 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 got Jesus Christ. Well, this one, yeah, I actually got it from um, from Prototypist here in UK. This one, I really like it. I was telling you at the beginning, it's really, really, really nice desk map, man. And we had to to get it right. It's always good to help a good cause. So yeah. So technically. We're going to have standoffs all over the place, but let's see. So let's do it this way. Probably the easiest way is... Not the easiest way. Definitely not the easiest way. There we go. Just got one. Two. I'm hoping I have it for all of it. So what I'm going to do, because I'm not sure how many I got, see if I have enough for everything, what I'll do is, I think I counted them, but still. I'm going to start by putting the corners first, and then we'll see if, if the rest actually... There we go. This one. And another one on this corner, which is uh, okay. That's going to be fun. Let's see how we do this. Here we go. And then I'll 
going to put two on this one. This one needs to do two of them at least. So there were delays because the ship to Mads that were had that accident where like 40% of his containers fell off a star. You know, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, unlucky. Unlucky. So I just, I think this one is smaller than the one I, yeah, this one is small. Definitely small. And I think you guys will need to give me five minutes because I'll need to quickly run to the bathroom because it's true what they say about beer. You don't buy it, you just hire it for a little bit and then you have to, to give it back. So I'll be right back, guys. And I'm back and I found a little thing that had fallen down, which is actually not needed because it's not the same size. How do you think Budweiser is made? <laughs> I don't know if the Budweiser from here is different from the Budweiser from, from, uh, from the US, but that might be a heritage. Um, not heretic, but uh, yeah, probably heretic saying that I actually, I mean, it's not that bad, but why not that bad? Could be worse. Okay, so let's put this one in here. Now, there's something that they actually call so sort of beer, which is not, which is but light. That is not a beer, that's just refreshment right so let me just take a look at something guys very fast so oh, this one is tight but let's see so we have this one is done if I put this one here there you go that guy doesn't want to you know what it's all James fault James Measures, man. Measures. See? See, James? I told you, man. And that's gone forever. We'll see it after. <laughs> okay, so... Let's try and put this in a way. So this one goes here. So I just, I'm gonna leave this one out for the moment. Hmm. <coughs> Sorry guys. This one has one and I just need another one for this guy, which goes here. So if I can put it here, that's gonna be the harder one to line up, but we'll see. So. Not that bad. So let me just try to line up these guys first. Is it? Mm. We'll 
Let's see. Is it too small to reach? It is. Good. No, it's not. Uh -huh. It's actually not. So, just a question of. You know what? I'm. I'm actually going at this the wrong way. I guess. I guess the easiest thing to do is actually to. Yeah, the easiest thing to do is at at least for now it's just to do this, right? So yeah, I'm going Jesus. I'm actually going at this the whole wrong way. Much, much easier this way. Yeah, much easier this way. This guy goes here, and now we just need to put one on this one. Yep, see, it's actually easier this way. So So I'll just take this standoff out. Yeah. And the only thing I'm sad is that these guys are are white for the top because I couldn't find them black for but they had to go through two parts of, of plastic so that's why huh. so no but at this rate I think I won't have enough standoffs for everything but we'll find out at least if I keep dropping them on the floor they're definitely not going to be enough. Uh, I don't know, Bo man. Uh, let me see. Ugh, just give me a second. With my precision tool for measuring, right? Yeah, so about a centimeter. A bit more than a centimeter, so I would say 12, yeah, 12 milliliters, mill millimeters. Nah, no, just black, probably, but uh, when we, when we're at a, at the meetup, you can, you can look at that then. Let me see if I, yeah, like this, so I can at least. good so I'll leave the middle one without it because I think I dropped some of them so let's go so this guy goes here now and then this guy goes here and this guy goes like this and technically if we made everything proper we will need to just uh, yes it's thanks James man cheers thanks man thanks have a good one go and relax I know you you have to work so yeah 
Here we go. So this guy. Yep. Yep. Seems good. Seems good. So now. Did I? Is it? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. But it does have a so. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't. Ah. So it seems to me, guys, that we're not going to be able to use this because standoffs are not long enough so I'll just have to assemble it for now without it and then and then go from there right yeah so I'm wondering if this guy goes through and he's able to reach without. Is it? Nope. Yeah. So I guess we'll have to do this one, right? And hopefully this fits and it's not too long now, which is probably the case. case is that it's too long this guy yeah this guy's gonna be too long yeah so I think we're having an issue that we need to to figure out and the issue might be that I might need longer standoffs than this ones Which means we'll have to improvise, right? We'll have to improvise and we'll have to see if these guys go through. Yeah, but they will leave a little. Yeah, too long, this guys. Yep, too long. Wait a minute. Are these guys the same? Diode legs, guys, for for pro micros. Let me try and get this guy. See if this guy is enough. Because if this guy is, which is these are motherboard ones, by the way. But yep. So I think we're in business on this one. So you know what. At least for now we'll do four squares and then and then I'll work in getting bigger ones now obviously the pain with this ones is that you actually need to use because these are motherboard ones, we are probably going to need to use something. What was this one that I used? No, oh, it's too big. Which I don't think I have enough, but we'll see. These guys, right? So one, two. Yeah, I think we'll we'll be okay. Let's see. 
Too long. Hmm. Yeah. It's actually a sort of an oversight for me when I was talking to James because if I had measured these standoffs I would have the same height for for the for the 3D printed one, but hey. That is okay. We can make do. And this is the other way around actually, which is also important. There's three and these are too big. Yeah, I seem to be having a tremendous difficulty with this stab, with this uh, thingies, but hey, let's see, let's see. because no, it's not so what's going on here right yeah right yeah there we go so one two then this guy would go here and So you know what guys, we'll do it this way for now and then I'll work out how to how to put the rest. Let's see if this way it actually works and it actually screws up. So if I do this, would it actually reach and screw in? Let's see. Or yeah, it seems so. Yeah. This one is good. So for now, we'll just do it this way, and then we'll work out the rest when we get it. size of the screw itself which is cool so we just need to to apply a little bit near more force than we would normally need to but then there we go Obviously, this guy doesn't screw in. 
which I need to get a new one for it. But so this would be sort of how it would be with this thing in it, right? That's how it's going to be. And did I put a, no, I didn't put one here. So yeah. So you know what guys, instead of this for now, what I'll do instead of we wasting time with this, I'm going to assemble it with the, without the middle case. And then we, uh, that's a good question. That's actually good. That's actually good, a good, probably a good try is to see if the standoff actually but I think there there's a small one because let's see let's see if that is the case so as an example we have one here right the problem is that if I pull it, right? So let's say I put it here and then I want to screw this guy. Put it. I don't, I actually don't think it does, but let's see. Let's see, will, let's see if that is actually going to happen. Mr. Obo, you are correct. That probably is the solution for this problem. Well, we already have this one, so I'm not gonna... Well, I will because I don't want to, to have different types of it, but yeah. Sorry guys, but again, we all go through stuff like this when we're building our boards. We figure out that stuff doesn't always work like we want it to, 100%, so yeah. But actually, that will probably work. So we're gonna go... Is it me or this music repeated itself for the same... Like, give me a second. Let's go back to my favorite one. Sorry, guys. There we go. So... Yeah, so that's probably the best solution is to actually put it on like this. Jesus, this one is tight. We need to really give it like this. Yeah. just that the 3d print is the tolerance is actually very good because it's really tight it really needs to be screwed in so it's good so this guy needs to be pushed
is in. Lil, Lil Guardioli, sorry if I missed your name, if it's incorrect, thank you for, for the, the follow man, really appreciate that. Nothing like a bit of gentleness and natural stupidity. Leonardo Langoni. There we go. Now I can read your name perfectly. Cheers, man. Thank you for, for being here, man. Welcome. needs to be here we go see another one gone forever yep so that works thanks obo that actually works pretty okay Where are the which standoffs I didn't put, but we'll figure that out after. This guy, see? This guy's tight. This guy's tight. This guy's tired. Right, yeah, there we go. There we go. This is the one that needs to be pushed in a bit. that this uh -huh. takes a bit of gymnastics but we're we'll get there there we go probably get Right. And another one. One, two, three. No, one missing there. So, I was curious how this thing is missing, but still, it looks like it screwed itself pretty well. Yeah, just because of the. There we go. No man, this is um, Gatron Yellows. Uh, Get Yellows, uh, Milky Yellows, as uh, as they're normally called. So, yeah. yeah, probably because of the yeah the the lighting is the thing. But yeah, I'm not sure if this camera can that nah, doesn't pick it up too. Hey, it's the quality we have. That's that's what it is, right? Now, 
this guy. Look like this. With this guy. Going like this, which is probably the easiest way to do it instead of me. So what's Okay, so what's my what is the best 60% VCB? Um uh, That's a good question. I don't know. The Wilbur one probably is uh, right there with with the best. Um I have a DZ60 which I don't dislike. The only thing I dislike about it is how Swiss cheese it is in the bottom, but hey, not bad. Um but I got mine from um I got one from uh from Martin from Martin Wood. Uh he has uh what he calls the plain sixty, which is a quite quite good PCB for 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 what it is. Uh but yeah, other than that you know. Usual suspects, right? This is sixty, the Wilbur one, then yeah. Yeah, plain sixty. Yeah. From Martin Wood. So if you I don't think people can post links, but if you guys can, you can post the link to Martin if you want it. Here we go. So we have one, two, three, four. Yeah. Jesus Christ, this guy is still losing his. Yeah. So this guy doesn't really want to have one, right? It seems. Yeah. This one doesn't really want to have its own standoff. Do you? Yeah. Well, I realized that this is probably what happened before is that I pushed it and when I pulled out the the tweezers it actually came. Is it? Come on. Okay. Almost there, almost there, guys. Now, can we... Moment of truth, can we screw this? Hey man, I'm sorry, I'm going to joke with you, but... What's not sold out in our keyboard hobby, man? <laughs> is there anything that... Is there anything that we go into a store and we get just like that? Easily? No, man. Yeah, but Martin Martin does them. Um, it does them by um, manually. So yeah, this one doesn't see what's going on here. Yeah. Here we go. Actually, it's actually working. Here's the question mark. Some of them work, some of them don't. So, I guess we'll leave with the ones that don't. What's my opinion on the drop Karina? To be honest, I don't have one because I don't know what the drop Karina is. Is that a new board from drop or a new something from drop? No, man, I haven't seen it to be honest. So yeah, I don't have that much of an opinion on it to be honest. Oh, nice touch. I didn't see this before, but uh, Nice touch, Danny. That I was actually wondering what that hole was, but it's actually for the reset button. If you guys, I don't know if you guys can, if I can show you, but it's actually for the little reset button on the PCB, which is a nice touch. Cool. So you know what, guys? I'll just for now. I'll leave it like this because apparently some of them don't really want to.
to thread so I'm wondering if it's because it's this one is a little bit too much so but yeah it seems so because it pushed the now let's see maybe it's enough different threads. No, it's the same thread, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll leave it for now and then we'll go from there. So one side is sort of done. Let me do the second one. And now should be faster because now I can work out from the from the other way right now that we know how to do it we don't need to figure out what we were doing wrong so should be fast as is not being able to screw stuff change this to at least two black ones but for now it was what we could find easily available well, technically I can also paint them but Some of the actual holes on the 3D print are very, very good because they're very tight. They're actually really, really nice too. Technically, can do it this way. too because I dropped them but we'll see we'll see what we on the way oh no here we go we have three more here so we should be good
We're almost there, guys. We're almost, almost there. So I guess I'm missing one of them, which is on that bag over there that I can see. Just, there we go. I found it. Here we go. This might need a bit of a one of those technical things of usual fixing stuff, which is a little bit of stupidity force, and that would work out. Here we go. And now this one in it here. So you see guys, this one actually went much better than the, the previous one because we didn't drip out trying to figure out all these things. So now we just trying, let's hope that this has now screw in, it should, but yeah, we're good. into that after the stream. Pretty sure you guys don't want me to just don't want to be here like three hours just me trying to screw things into place, right? black ones which are longer and they're good maybe even a bit longer than this one so, so these ones are I think it's 12 millimeters so if I get like 14 or I'll probably be able to get it in a way that we don't face this issue so cool there we go I actually want to just try and Sorry guys, but I actually just want to try and get these two to actually work, right? Try to thread. I'm not sure if I would be able to, but there we go. That guy is done. I guess it's just these two missing, so might as well. This guy is the guy that actually has an issue, so here we go. Yeah. So maybe if I first thread it here a bit. There we go. Yep. There we go. Pretty good. Well, sort of good. Yeah. No, forget it. Something wrong with this one, I'll need to look into it after. Right. Now. It's starting to look like a keyboard. Now, let's go and put some keycaps on this thing, right? 
So like we were doing, first thing we want to do is, because we don't have space bars for it, we'll probably need to do it this way. Yeah. And it's not this space bar, but it's this one. Right, and I'm sorry guys, but this is going to be the the old school way, which is to try and put your stuff away this way. Okay. So we have a back space. We have a ship. An anti enter which we don't use. Oh, we do. We? Yeah, I do have one of these. I wonder if I have this second one, which I don't think so. I, I think on this set, just this one came. So, unfortunately. Uh, I think it's alt here, and then this is FN. Not mistaken, but here we go. is wrong. So I have three. Step caps lock because people ask for it. Which after someone said I can also not unsee but this is a Jeep if you guys see the the design right it's a Jeep. That's why now I you cannot unsee it anymore. Something I know that on this um, set I don't have is the ISO key for here. So we'll need to do we we'll need to use something else. So that sounds good. So it seems that yeah, it seems that cherry stabs were the good pick. Good pick. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. See? Yeah, it's a Jeep. Land Rover for the the ones that Okay, let's see what else. There we go. No, oh, this is Yeah, this is ISO, right? Like, this is the most horrible escape key there is, to be honest. I got them thinking that it would look good, but no, totally off the, the rest of the set, totally off. Yeah. 
Again, it's not like this set looks that perfect, but hey, not bad. Not bad for, for what it is. So let's see. Oh, I like this one. The only thing with these key keycap sets is that the orientation of the keys is not straight. So if you look at this guy here, right, you can see that it looks like the key is crooked, but it's actually not the key. It's the cap that look that is like that. So unfortunately, that's what you get with cheaper keycap sets. But hey, they are great for the price. top of that the ISO kit that that I got this has a different color from the I knew we had it. You know what? I'll put this one in here so we don't put the windows. Symbol on it. Actually, the same thing, but hey. to the to this side here but first Is it that is it just me that when he's putting keycaps that I always find that it seems that there's a lot of keycaps missing, but then you realize that no, because there's only this ones, and you feel that hey, this is not enough, but then you realize oh no no, actually it is. I think something. 
не жмем три. Seems like it, there's keys missing, but there aren't. Aha! Right. Uh -huh. So you know what, guys? Actually, he's wrong. But if I am not mistaken, these keys are the same profile. Yep. But this is the actual. One. So if I put this one in here, it's not the same profile, so we'll need to put another key. Here for the profile, which would be something that I have here, which would be this FM key. No, is it? Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. What are we missing here? Where is the key? Here, we have H. And we're almost, almost, almost done because now, now I don't have the. I thought I had. The, yeah, here we go. I do have it. Yeah. yeah here we go. So it sounds good. So we still have this one. So good. So what am I missing? I'm missing the F9, which I saw, but disappeared, right? I'm missing that, I'm missing arrow key. Okay, so. I think it's time to start cleaning up this thing and putting away the ones we don't need, right? Yeah, I think so. To be honest, I think so, Matt. Matt because uh, yeah, I got uh, just because of UK ISO, but I got all these two right that came with it. So, so I'm gonna start taking out the ones that I don't need. We don't need this. We don't need this alt. Let's leave this guy's here. We definitely want this page up. And then delete. This guy don't need, this guy I don't need. No, we don't need this guy, we do need this guy. There we go, they start appearing. I don't need this guy. I don't need this guy. Where the hell is F9? I'm pretty sure I saw it, but. But it probably didn't. F9 is here, right? It's F7 that is missing. Yeah. Observe. Hmm. Okay. It will show up. Oh, we need one here, right? So, what should I put here? Yeah, you know what? 
I have an FM for this. Shouldn't I? Which I probably don't, so... Nope! So I don't have it, so you know what? Let's put it under control, that's okay. We know what the key does, so... Now on this one, we'll do... One. And two. Four and five. No, one and five, no, let's put six. We'll put... This. Is it? No. Oh. Huh. So how did I do this before? Yeah, probably at the we'll see. We'll see. Five zero zeros. Okay, so page up. Is it this profile? Yeah. So we'll do page up. Let's put delete. Then, 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 then. Yeah, that's the worst part, right? It's trying to figure out what to use. Page down. And a print screen, which is not the same profile, but that's okay. Yeah. I wonder if I have anything for this profile. Do, but I don't think so. Now it's really good. This is old. Is this the same profile? No, is it more worse, right? Yeah. That's okay. Leave it like this. And we'll put the print screen in here. Why not? Yeah, that's it. And we just need. F7, which magically appeared, and it was in front of me all the time. So if it was a dog, it would have bitten me like the Usain Bolt would. Now, hmm. let's do this. Home. Let's put an end here. Then. Yeah, that's the only problem is that I'm missing one here. So if I do this, so I need to put what? You know what? For now, we'll put this one, and then we'll we'll look into the into this macro profile the next. There we go. And. We have our knobs too. Actually, two knobs. So if one knob, well, three if you count the guy presenting, but that's a different thing. Um, but if you guys were wondering, here we go. And now, one last thing, which is. Something that I always had a big gripe with, with this type of boards, which is, you know, the, the tenting. So I actually found this guys recently, which seem to be huge, but they actually give, you know, so this guys along with the little ones actually give it a little inclination. So 
just going to put this thing here. So we'll do it this way. Just trying to put it in a somewhat nice way. Yeah, true, true, true. I'll put zeros and then yeah, correct. That's a that's a good point. So let's take these two out. Well, actually, let's take them all out. Right, we need to take them all out. But yeah, I'm actually, tight in this corner because of the. This guy, and we have a zero here somewhere, right? We got another zero. Here we go. Yeah, I'll put the zeros. There we go. And then we'll do this. Yeah, one. No, actually, this one is what number two, right? Technically, this one is also the same thing, right? That's how long I haven't used a, a number of guys, is that... Yeah, because this guy is the same row as this guy, is, right? Because it's... yeah. So we'll put two. And let's find... Three. Yeah, that's okay. Crazy, no, same, same profile. Yeah, of course. And then this guy goes here. There we go. Yeah. Right. So this guy already has these two. Oops. Sorry for the noise, guys. Something dropped. And now I'll just put. These two. And this way, I have a nice tenting on it, right? Not tenting because, but nice angle. So they will actually, will actually stay like this, right? Good, 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 good. Same thing on this one. And we can go ahead and try some sort of typing test on this, right? Then, of course, plug it in and make sure that it actually works, which I'm so full of myself that I didn't test, and I'm pretty sure it does. But someone will tell me that it doesn't. Eventually, one key won't work, but hey, we will... Let's leave the injuries, right? right? Here we go. Here we go, guys. So now, technically, we just need to do this. Unplug this guy. too tight don't tell me that it's it is too tight for the haha <laughs> so guys I'm terribly sorry we won't be able to test it because apparently this USB cable is too tight it's too wide uh, the actual 
thing and I don't have another USB cable, USB-C, do I? No. Right, anyway, we will have to make do and then eventually we will, we will eventually connect it and, and test. But again, uh, like I said, like I saw, it's uh, VA compatible. Um, I had tested the, the PCBs before, so I had plugged them in and I have tested them, so I'm pretty sure they work. Uh, then it's just a question of programming the top row, which is not um, currently programmed with the F row. The F row is programmed here. Here they didn't respond, but again, given that everything else did, it's just a question of programming. And yeah. Let me just pause the music and I know that you guys like to listen to this so let's let me see if I can lower the microphone without too many noise too much noise to see if you guys can hear it better than, than this Sorry guys, but I need to actually connect it because otherwise I can tell. Not bad, not bad. Sounds good, sounds good. I like it. Again, these are just stem looped with the 205G0, I just uh, back looped the stems and the springs, so I will still probably then desolder it all and loop them after they're a bit broken in, but I guess there you go guys. Here I go, I was speaking and probably, yeah, well it's actually, yeah, but I like the sound of FR4 on this type of plates and, and it actually feels quite nice. now. Of course, the knobs, we will need to figure out what we do with them. I guess that's it's always something that we can, uh, no, no, probably not, but yeah, something that we can, we can look into, into playing with the knobs. Who doesn't like to play with the knobs, right? Yeah. Right guys, there you go. So you have the sink, which um, Danny said is going to be on sale this week, if I'm not mistaken. That's what uh, what uh, Danny said. I don't know if he's still if he's still here, but um, yeah, from Kibio. Um, again, thank you so much to the board for the contest where I was able to win this thank you to Danny to to sending this over and uh, yeah I'm actually really happy with it and um, and yeah again let me just put music back in to and yeah good 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 I'm actually Really happy with it. Um, yeah, three D print turned out great. I like the 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 little specs. Obviously, I'll need to work out the the standoffs. I'll probably I want to put um, yeah black screws on it at least to give it either black or brass because I have um, another uh, TRS cable which is sort of a met metallic and it has a sort of brass uh, you know insert so oh and speaking of that I'll be right back let me just bring something in I want to show you guys something
<clears throat> so guys as you guys can see this is the sink which is uh, the new uh, the new board from um, from Kibio split keyboard uh, this one has uh, two rotary encoders you can actually only use one and this this one is actually a slot just for a rotary encoder this one actually can fit um, a switch but again hey why not have two knobs right if you can have two knobs hey, that's what what it goes um, and this guy here can actually be an artisan right we can actually do something like this let's see how it looks if i you know what now well, let's put it here i'm wondering probably looks better here right there we go now it gets stuck on the can't be this one ah need to put it like over here or right here but here it won't won't look that good right but we can put it probably here just to make it look a bit better here we go we'll put our our Darth Vader on it right now let me just put this away. Because I was, like I was saying, this is the Q frequency that I also got from, um, from uh, Kibio. And this is the actual uh, Voodoo Wizard filament print which again it's very very hard to film correctly and to take pictures correctly but you know looking like life is, is is a bit so it actually looks more bluish on uh, on camera than than it does in real life it's more purplish on uh, on the actual um on the actual yeah, in real life but yeah this one actually was um 3d printed case also uh by papi so responsible for both and this is actually my um, my revision 1q frequency that um, that I know that Danny is actually going to um, going to yeah it's already released the second version I also have the the, the prototype for the revision 2 uh, which I'll probably be building some you know in a different way than this one this one I used the 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 3d printed case but yeah Actually, like how, how this one turned out with the with the 909. Actually, it looks sort of nice with it. Yeah, I can show you the the sound of this one. This one is plateless, if you guys can see. So, uh, because of the case, this one is um, is plateless. It's just uh, PCB mounted switches, right? Actually, feels good. It's a uh, quite uh, cheers, man. Um, quite quite a more flexible feeling than than the other one let me just turn off the music let me see if you can guys if you guys can hear this sorry And I really like the, the sound of the SA. To be honest, I, I really like the SA. Yeah, this one still has the old ones. I still haven't put the the the, the higher ones, but yeah, that's basically the. So this is Q frequency and sync was the one we built. And I guess that's it, guys. Back to the music. Uh, once again, guys, thank you so 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 much for for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it. This uh, bit derpy stream, bit quality, 
uh, sort of quality stream, but that's what we that's what we got. And uh, hope you guys have a good one. Um, yeah, time to go, right? Have a good one, guys, and have a good night. <laughs>